Yo, this is Tarek, professional wrestler. You're checking out Ambi. Boom! Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to our interview with Tarek. Hello. Hello. Hello, how are you? I am doing wonderful. How are you? I'm great. Thank you so much for joining to me at You're Smash welcome. Wrestling. Today is the day. It's the mm. day. How are you feeling about everything? You're going against Tyson Dukes for the Smash Wrestling Championship. Yeah, Tyson and I, we've locked up previously many times throughout my seven-year career, but uh, I don't know, something about tonight. And it's for the strap. It's a lot riding on tonight's match. You know, I'm feeling a little banged up, but I know when it comes down to uh, match time, I'm ready to go. Banged up, but fired up. That's right. Banged up and fired up. <laughs> Full of energy. Mm. If you do win tonight, all eyes are going to be on you once again. <laughs> so how, are you feeling pretty, pretty excited? Or are there any nerves going into this battle? Um, you, you know what? Not, not so much anymore. Just much more excited more than anything. Uh, every time I get in the ring with Tyson, it's always super physical. Not the fact that it's super physical as it is with everybody else, but with him. I know what I'm in store for. So <laughs> if anything, that's my benefit heading into this match. I know... Bit about Tyson, no, a little more, expect. enough to, to make me dangerous, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, you watched wrestling religiously when you were a kid. Oh, so big time. Big, big time, time yeah. just like me. So who are some of the people you saw on TV and they just stuck right out to you? Growing up, as some people may argue, Bret Hart, I thought I liked him. Um, people may argue that he was all that entertaining, but I, I liked Bret Hart. I liked Ultimate Warrior, the Hulk Hogan, Shawn Michaels. Um, Jake the Snake, these are all, those guys are all characters that really stuck out with me as a kid. I was like, it's, these are some guys that I can, I can bring up at school, in class, and the kids think I'm cool, you know? So <laughs> I liked them a lot. I took a lot of like, especially Jake the Snake, but um, even in WCW, like the Cruiserweight guys and stuff like that, that's stuck out to me so much because they're so agile, they're so, they're so quick. They, they, they're much so more of what my style was when I started out. So it always, like it was, I like seeing the high-flying guys. Were the wrestlers you just named the ones that made you want to get into the ring? Yeah, yeah, okay. that's the first question. I don't think anybody's ever asked me that question, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, I would say so. If we say those guys there, they definitely motivated me. If you could only wrestle one wrestler for the rest of your career, who would the person be? Tyson Dukes. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, I, I will say so, yes. Really? Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's so, that's another weird question that nobody's ever asked me before. <laughs> I'd say Tyson, yeah. A lot of firsts in this interview, folks. <laughs> Yeah. Something I really dig is on your Instagram. You like using the hashtag large chew <laughs> quite a bit. I can just imagine every time a song comes on, you're like, large chew. This woman knows me too much right now. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I just, I like coming up with things that people can catch on to, you know, it's entertainment. It's funny, you know. Well, who are some artists you feel are putting out some real large tunes right now? Um, here's the it? thing. Here's the thing. Um, I like J. Cole. But I, a lot of the new era guys, yeah, I'm not really too high on, but. Some of the old school guys, like a lot of the Tupacs and the Snoop Dogs and the Ice Cube, like some of the old era, or when I, not necessarily old era, but when I was growing up in the 90s, that's, I love that. You know, I was like, that was me. I loved it so much. I still play it today. It still motivates me. I love it. We're going to go even more de in depth to how much oh, I know about go. you okay. because you post a lot of Instagram videos. <laughs> Are you driving around listening to rap music? Oh. Like you obviously, it's all public. It's your it's his Instagram. Yeah, yeah, fair but enough. But you post a lot of things where you're just driving around, rapping. Would yeah. you consider yourself a pretty good rapper? Um, No, I mean, I'm, I sure, <laughs> no, no, no. I just, I like to sit back and watch everybody else and then, I'll critique it that way, you know, but I don't, I don't ever step into that game. I did yeah. it with wrestling. I was like, yeah, I can do that. But rapping, you guys can do that. I'll just, I'll just stay here and wear my underwear every weekend and wrestle. Yeah. <laughs> you have one of my favorite Twitter handles probably ever, which is Tariq Hates oh, You. Oh, yeah. It's a good yeah. one. How did you decide it's, on that? Well, a friend of mine, one of my uh, managers from a uh, different promotion, um, I was like, man, I need a new name. Because I changed my name. It was originally Alex Vega, and I switched that to Tarek. And I was like, you know what? I don't change my name. Tarek, that's me. There's, it doesn't get any more me than my real name, right? So I was like, let me do that. And I was like, well, I need a, something cool, some Twitter, Twitter name. Let's see. Hmm. I was thinking about it. It took me about a good solid two weeks. And I was like, this guy, this one, this one guy I was talking about, my manager, um, he gave me an idea. And I was like, and this is when I was like super heel, super bad guy. I kind of still am right now, but I was like, Tarek hates you. It doesn't that's get it. much more heel than that. It really that's doesn't. That's it. There's, there's, nothing more, there's nothing more. That's it. It's perfect. It's, I was sold. I was like, yep, that's it. And I like it. And it's you know, stuck. It's catchy, yeah. It's good. I can put it on T-shirts, you know, so 
<laughs> it works. Yeah. <laughs> you seem to be really into Nintendo and gaming. So he's just this woman knows me so no. much. <laughs> it's my job. It's incredible. Yeah. But yeah, no, I like. So what's the next question to be? How, what's my infatuation with video games? Or no, what no, about not, okay. not your okay. obsession with them. Because oh, you just okay. seem a little bit obsessed with them. Big time. Big time. Yeah. Uh, your go-to game right now? What is it? Uh, I like uh, a lot of the um, Street Fighter games, you know, so whether it's for Super Nintendo or there's some of the new ones for PlayStation, uh, PS4. I like a lot of fighting games, but wrestling games as well, too. The WWE games, stuff like that. Some of the old WWF No Mercy games, Revenge, uh, WrestleMania 2000. I like playing wrestling games. Um, I don't know. I'm a big fan of nostalgic games. Some of those I just buy games and I don't even play them. <laughs> they just sit on the shelf. <laughs> yeah. I have a PlayStation Vita right now that I love. I just buy a bunch of games. I don't even play them. They're just there. and I'll get around to them eventually. You know? <laughs> but, yeah. Who's the wrestling character you like to play as the most? Hmm. From the current era, probably Randy Orton. Okay. Yeah. Real simple moveset. Quick finisher. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's nice nothing like easy. hearing the announcers all the time, right? <laughs> out of nowhere! <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's my... Um, that's my mark out moment there. I just pick up, I pick Randy Orton. Just give people RKOs all day, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. Well, to wrap things yeah. up, anything you want to leave with all of your fans who are um, viewing? You can follow me on Instagram. That's my favorite platform. Punch Kick Chop underscore Tarek on Instagram. Look for me on Facebook as well, too. I'm posting every day. And I like where I am right now, you know, in wrestling. I'm just going to keep pushing forward with it. I'm just trying to get better with every match and try to have the best possible match I possibly can have with everyone. That's my mark that I want to leave on wrestling. With everybody. I don't care if it's the, the crappiest guy to the best guy. I just want to be able to have the best match I possibly can have. You know what I mean? It's an amazing attitude. Yeah, thank you. I just appreciate that. I want to say thank you so much for joining me today. Yeah, thank you. It's my pleasure. And remember to everybody viewing, you can visit us at musicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more. See you next time.